The channel blur effect can be found under the blur and sharpen category, and if you apply it to any layer, it allows you to blur out any one of the color channels as well as the alpha channel independently. So on my logo here with transparency, I could easily just add some blurriness to the alpha channel to generate some semi-transparent pixels. Now that's not touching any of the color channels, so we're just getting basically black semi-transparent pixels that are blurring into the transparent areas as well as the opaque areas. If I wanted color to show up in that blur, then I'm gonna have to set these other values to the same amount, but then at that point, you might as well be using a regular blur effect. Let's reset that back down and note that we can also change this to only blur on the horizontal or vertical dimensions if we want, but these color channels aren't going to do much on my vector logo. So let's instead apply the channel blur to this photo and then show you that we can just blur out the red channel. And as we do that, we kind of are getting this almost 3D glasses look because only the red color channel is being blurred. And we can view this a little bit more clearly if we go to this button right here and only view the red channel. This is giving us a grayscale image of the red color channel, but you can see that we're just blurring that channel. And while we're here, I'm gonna crank this really high and show you that the edge pixels are kind of getting faded out. But we have this edge behavior checkbox. If I check that on, it will fill in all of those darker areas. But if I switch to say the green channel, which does not have any blur on it, you see that's nice and crisp. So if we go back to our composite image, you can kind of see why we're getting all of these weird colors. It's because that red channel, which should be giving us this nice crisp image, is getting blurred out so it's bleeding into the other color channels and mixing them into colors other than what they should be. Or if for some reason I only wanted to blur that blue channel just a slight amount, give it that kind of yellow cast where it's bleeding into the other colors. That's what this channel blur effect is good for, but that's all there is to it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.